Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this chart design to your blogger website. Now I had shown you how to design this in the previous video. So we had designed everything from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And we also used a library called Chart.js to design this chart right here. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your blogger website. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's go ahead and add it inside a post. You can also add it inside a page if you want. I'll just add it inside a post. So let's click on new post and uh, let's add a title over here. I'll just type statistics of programming languages. And the next thing you have to do is change this into the HTML view. So by default, it'll be in the compose view. So just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to the source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to the style.css file and let's copy all these CSS from here. And let's paste it over here inside the style tag. The next thing we need to add is the HTML. So let's make some space over here and let's go back to the source code. Let's go to the index.html file and let's copy all this HTML from here. Before that, let's copy the link of the fonts from here. So let's copy this link and uh, let's paste it over here. Right now, let's add the HTML of our design. So let's copy from this line of code till uh, here and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, here we can see we have the text that is displayed in the heading so this text right here so you can change this to whatever you want right now the next thing we will do is we'll create a script tag and in that we will add the javascript so let's go back to our source code and uh, let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this javascript from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag now all the data and the labels of your chart are displayed over here. So here we can see inside the labels, we have these different strings and uh, these are the labels over here. So if you change any of this, uh, these labels in the chart will change. And then we have the data over here. So these values are displayed over here and they are also displayed in uh, this chart right here. So this is 30% and uh, this is 36%. So all this data is used in the chart. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. If you want to add new data, you can just add a comma and add a new data over here. And you have to add the corresponding label over here as well. And then we have the details about the chart. So the type is set to donut. So here we can see that the type of the chart is a donut chart. If you want to change this, you can change this over here in this type. Now when you change the type of the chart, you may also have to change some of these options over here. So you have to take look at the documentation of the chart.js library so you can just go to chartjs.org and uh, here you have all the details about the chart.js library so if you click on get started and if you click on chart types here we have all the different chart types so if you click on any of these chart type you have the code displayed over here and if you scroll down we have all the options that are available with that type of chart so you can take reference of this documentation and design your chart. Right now if you scroll down here we have the text that is displayed over here on the right side. So here we have the label and then we have the percentage displayed. So it is this line of code right here. So you can change this to whatever you want. Right now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm. And our post has been published. So let's click on view post. And here we can see our chart is being displayed. So everything works all right. All right, so that's basically how you can add a chart to your blogger website. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.